Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice and Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to take your um, your micro SIM and cut it down to a nano SIM. Um, in this case, I'm showing you basically you have a Nexus 5, which has a micro SIM, and you want to update to the Nexus 6, which has the nano SIM, which is much smaller. Um, now, there's a few things you'll need: pen or pencil. Um, I have both, but um, scissors as well as a template which you, I'll send you a, a link to the address or I'll add it to the description of this video rather um, some double-sided tape and of course your SIM card out of your whatever device has the micro SIM okay now I've taken double-sided tape and I already stuck the SIM card to the template there um, and you'll see when you print it out that it, it actually outlines the entire uh, micro SIM okay so let's move these out of the way I already have the um, the little slots out of them, as you can see, laying on top, so that when we get to it, I can just stick it right into the phone to see if it works. Um, first thing you're going to do, you're, you're also going to need a straight edge of some sort. Now, I um, didn't really think this through, and I didn't have a straight edge, so I'm just using this kind of pamphlet from my uh, Nexus 6, uh, and I'm going to use it as my straight edge. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go along your outline, the lines that are given, which you see here. Let's go ahead and mark that okay and then along the bottom here okay and there will be a slight cut just along the metal here and just along the metal here um, now don't worry too much I'm sorry if I'm getting in the light um, don't worry too much about cutting off some of these connections around here because the actual part that reads is actually only the part directly in the center here. Okay, that's where the chip is. Um, this other stuff, a, a lot of SIM cards don't even have that. Um, so now that that's been marked, <clears throat> what we're going to do, take some scissors. Now, in some cases, you may actually, you know, you want to find the sharpest scissors you can. Although in my case, I don't really have any very sharp ones, so let's just hope this works. Cut very slowly. Okay, and there it went. So I cut that corner off. See? Okay. And now let's go ahead and cut this side off so that I can, uh, and don't worry about touching the sim, you're, you're fine there. Let's go ahead and cut along here. Hold it. And take your time. Cut slow. There it went. Okay. Now, this edge here, just along the metal. Okay, and this side, I'm pretty much doing it by eye with the template, okay, seems like I got a little crooked there, let's just straighten that out, and this will show you there's, there's definitely room for mistake, there's margin of error, which is okay, and it, it will survive the process, let's cut just along plastic okay now that we've cut that all the way along using the template and that's just paper on the back we're going to peel that off with the tape this was an AT&T sim as you can see let's grab the card um, the part that holds the card rather and go ahead and see if it fits Oops. Okay. The edges need to be rounded out a little. So what we'll do, you can do it with your fingernails, but to be honest, if it has a slight edge to it, it's okay. So you just cut basically any color off the edge. Okay. okay. And then of course you have your solid edge side here, which was straight. 
Okay. Let's try to fit it again. Better to slowly cut down than try to cut down quickly because if you cut down quickly and it doesn't work, then obviously you're out of luck. Okay, so it seems to fit in. Okay, so I'm gonna actually pull it away so I can look at it a little bit closer. Okay. Seems to be good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, let's go ahead and slip it into the phone. Okay, go ahead and kick the phone on. Okay, now I know it's hard to see what I was doing, but I really wanted to do this process more so so you could see that you can just kind of cut along um, and, and try to follow the, the template as a guideline, but you, there's some freedom there to really cut um, freehand if you wanted to. Um, so, you know, here we'll turn it on. Obviously, um, prove me right or wrong here. Wait a moment. All right, let me turn off my Wi-Fi. And there you see I have LTE. So um, that's it. So it works. Um, and as I said, there's a lot of freedom. You just basically want to cut it down so that it fits in that slot. That's the most important part. Um, and not too small to where it wiggles around. Uh, but that's it. I mean, it, you saw that it said no service up in the corner initially, and now it shows LTE connection, and I can make phone calls now. Okay, let me just make a phone call. Just tap one to see what it does. And it says it's calling, which it would not do. It's my daughter, my wife. Which it would not do if um, the SIM was not working. So that is the process to convert your uh, micro SIM into an nano SIM. Have any questions? Just holler at me. Any concerns? Holler at me. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.